guys welcome to this video this again is another installment in our for the very beginner again that's the name of the playlist make sure you look in the playlist for other videos for the very beginner okay guys in today's video we're talking about keeping your guitar clean and how to store it now there are a couple different ways believe it or not of storing your guitar when necessary now acoustics I keep mine in the case except when I'm playing it right to keep it from being exposed to weather and stuff it's also thin it's not thick like a solid body guitar like these so I keep electrics out on stands and I'm also going to show you something a little trick I use for stands but I keep acoustics stored in their case right and laying flat back on their backs now okay, first off guys just a real basic thing about cleaning this is all I use I use guitar polish and a good clean non-abrasive cloth okay I also don't oil my fretboards or anything like that I have a guy that I trust that I take my guitars to have worked on when necessary some people like to do that themselves I can dig that you know I used to be a cabinet and furniture maker of anybody I should be you know tearing these things apart and putting them back together I just don't I don't know why but I have a guy that that fixes them and stuff and I always have him do the proper the deeper care that they need but it's just day-to-day -day stuff, polish, cloth, and that's it, nothing more. Okay, let me show you a little trick I use as far as stands go and uh, guitars as well and amps. Okay guys, this is just one of those cheapy stands that you get for like, what are they, 15, 20 bucks? Something like that at your basic uh, guitar store. The problem with these guys is that sometimes this cushion material can leach onto your guitar onto the finish on your guitar and you really don't want that now I've never seen that on a guitar that just sits on a stand like this but I do this as a preventative measure it's just a dress sock it's a cotton sock that I cut and I put that on there now I'm not uh, trying to win any fashion shows or anything I don't know about you so for me instead of going and paying some thirty dollars for a stand with special material I just put a sock on it kinda like the old saying put a sock on it I do the same thing up here, right? We do the same thing. This is just a sock, and I cut a hole in it, and I wrapped it around there, and away you go, and it just prevents it. Now, I have seen that rash really badly on neck headstock areas where guitars have been hanging on a stand. I have seen that, so maybe the cure for that is to just put, it to, put a sock on it. <laughs> so maybe we'll call this video Put a Sock on It. All right, guys, what about amps and things? Oh, also another trick sometimes if I have guitars just standing out like this I'll put a pillowcase over them just to keep the dust off of them now that's the same thing that I do with my amps as you can see that's a little orange amp under there and this is my drum amp and just to keep the, uh, the uh, dust off of them I'll put a pillowcase on it just like on my Marshall that's what that pillowcase is there for to just drape over it when I'm not using it and it keeps the dust off it's just that simple you want to keep dust off your electronics pretty much right guys so that's very, very general maintenance. Again, I just put a cloth or some kind of cover on amplifiers when necessary, and even my pedals. When I come through here to vacuum, I'll put a pillowcase over my stuff just to keep the dust. Again, electronics and dust, they're not good friends. And that's the same with your guitars and stuff. I put a pillowcase over it, or if I'm going to leave it there for a little bit with not touching it. And uh, again, put a sock on it. I think that's the gist of this video. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much for joining us. Again, I just use guitar polish and a clean cloth. That's it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Again, this is in our For the Beginner playlist. And remember, there are other things in there, too, guys. Take a look, and uh, I'm sure there'll be something for you. And if not, we have plenty of other playlists. Look through those, too. All right, guys. This is Rock Hard Griffs, the guitar channel for the self-taught. Please subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next video.